Hello, this is Joe Mays from the 3rd Division with your SEI Cyber Minute. IPv6 adoption rates are accelerating, with Google reporting that more than 20% of its traffic in 2017 was IPv6. So if you're considering deploying IPv6, this Cyber Minute will cover the prerequisites for a successful deployment. Here are some items for starters. First, your ISP needs to support IPv6 at the corporate edge connection, or connections if you have multiple sites and connection points. Next, when you deploy IPv6, you're also deploying IPv6 DNS, so your internal DNS systems and DNS forwarders must all support IPv6. And IPv6 networks need dynamic addressing. There are multiple methods for dynamic addressing in IPv6, so you may need to review your options before picking the best method for your network. And if you have multiple subnets served by DHCP servers, you'll also need IPv6 DHCP forwarding. IPv6 also means routing has to be updated to forward IPv6 traffic. If you're using RIP or OSPF, you need to convert to IPv6 capable versions, while EIGRP and BTP are already capable of routing IPv6. There's also your host systems. You shouldn't have problems with workstations and servers supporting IPv6, as it's been turned on by default on every Windows version since Vista. Current generation Linux systems should also support IPv6, but some older peripherals like door access systems, wireless access points, and business-specific systems need to be checked first for IPv6 compatibility. Finally, your cybersecurity systems will all need to be configured to monitor IPv6, and your staff will need to understand the operation and security needs for an IPv6 environment. Thank you for watching this SEI Cyber Minute. If you have questions or need more information on other topics, please visit the website or email me at info at sei.cmu.edu.